All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the second match here with uh, Dark Band. Looks like we lost the die roll, um, but we have a great hand, so we'll keep. Let's take a look what our opponent said. You too, buddy. A lot of nice people today. Opponent goes down to five. Keeps their hand, so I'm probably going to leave with Inquisition when our opponent mulls to five, because next turn we can go Inquisition plus Hierarch. So if we're up against Jun, this deck has a pretty good Jun matchup. Faceless looting. Okay. Uh a bit worse of a dredge matchup. <laughs> Termoglyph is really good against dredge though. I will say that. Um I'm probably gonna Inquisition on turn one um to get rid of like a cathartic reunion in my opponent's hand. If they had a dredger, they probably would have discarded it there. Um alternatively I could have gone Noble Hierarch into turn two Geist. Um, but this really slows my opponent down a bit. And the chance that Inquisition is going to be uh, live later in the game is really very low. Alright, our opponent drew Blood Crypt. That's good to know. Alright, here comes Blood Ghast. Um, let's see, do we just slam Tarmogoyf? Not necessarily, right? Because that... Yeah, I'll slam Tarmogoyf. Start beating in. Knowing our opponent only has Faithless Looting, or two lands in hand and Faithless Looting in the yard, like, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I imagine they'll play out their mountain here. Although they could play Wooded Foothills, fetch up a green source, because they, I guess they don't want to have to mill their green source. If they attack, I will block. If you drew like a dark blast or something, like even dark blast doesn't do it, right? That puts an instant in the yard. Like I'm blocking. There's no way I'm not blocking there. It would just be greedy not to. Um, they're basically locked into um, playing faithless suiting here, or just hard casting blood gas. That works too. So we know all they have in hand is mountain. So here, let's play a Noble Hierarch. This way we can get in for an extra bit of extra damage here. Um, Fatal Push would put a instant in the yard, but they can just get back Blood Gas. I kind of want to do it on their turn. That way we save ourselves two damage. So turn two guys looking like it would have been much better here against my opponent, but maybe slowing them down with faithless, faithless looting was worth it. Alright, they play their mount. Interesting that they're not flashing back faithless looting. I guess they want to save their fetch. Here, uh, let's just go ahead and save two life, get an instant in the yard. Um, it'll make our life a lot easier down the road. Liliana currently not castable. Inquisition currently a dead card. But maybe if our opponent starts like dredging life from the loam or something like that, Inquisition might not end up being dead. Interesting that they're again they're doing this main phase. All right, so they discarded two lands. Fatal Push. Dredge with Fatal Push. That's... That should be illegal. Alright, now we have Geist. It's going to be a slightly faster clock than our opponent's Blood Gas here. And we can also play Tarmogoyf um, to start blocking next turn. We could also play Lingering Souls to start blocking next turn. Lingering Souls is a bit softer to Dark Blast, though. All right, our opponent, see what they discard here. Any dredgers? This, all right, hear me out. This might not be um, dredge. This could just be like red, black, hollow one, right? Hollow one plays fatal push. They play faithless looting. They play lands, mostly red, black lands. Sometimes they splash green, I think, but um, yeah, okay, it's the hollow one deck. All right. Life makes a lot of sense now. 
If they drew Gurmag Angler, that would be pretty bad for us. Looks like they did. If they're paying costs, that's that's Gurmag Angler talk right here. Yep, Gurmag Angler is really good on this board. If we draw Path to Exile, we'll be fine. Um, I don't really want to play Geist. I, I don't want to attack with Geist, I mean. So, so Lingering Souls, if they attack with everything and then draw a dud, then we can hopefully play a Liliana. And if they start attacking, then that seems pretty loose, right? Because then Geist can start getting in there for a bunch of damage. So I think just buying time uh, is good right now. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and uh uh Yeah, let's double block. Again, if we draw a black source, it's gonna be pretty good for us. If they drew a land, they drew a land. I mean there there's not there's not much we can do there. And this is exactly what we were playing towards. Don't think they have instant speed lands. <laughs> Target player sacrifices a creature. See you later, Gurmy. And now Geist uh, actually gets the Exalted Trigger from Noble Hierarch, which is sweet, even though it's not quite attacking alone. All right, so our opponent uh, takes seven here. They'll go down to nine. Next turn, we can... Uh, Interesting, our opponent just didn't play out the card in their hand. I wonder what they were holding. Could be a hollow one. Could be just like a straight up hollow one. <laughs> Vault the Hierarch. Could have vaulted Liliana, but looks like our... Alright, it's just a land. Makes sense. Alright, we'll go ahead and discard our Inquisition here. Oh, shoot, they do have... They do have haste. Ah, that's right. I did forget about that. I was gonna be like, oh, I can just discard my. Uh, I don't. I think that's a bit loose here. Uh, they did show us fatal push, but fatal push. Um, fatal push will be fine. We have a blocker for one of their blood gas here, and then they they can't block on the crackback. Um, so if they play like a, like a Hollow One or a Gurmag Angler, we can just Maelstrom Pulse it and then kill them no matter what. Then again, we also have just Kill in the Air with Angel Token next turn. So Geist MVP in this matchup here. Normally I don't think Geist is that great here because usually we can't play the aggressive role. But it looks like we bought ourselves just enough time to like get our opponent. They might not have been playing around Liliana in a deck like ours, because chances of, what, double black are pretty slim. Again, Fatal Push doesn't get us here. Um, Gurmag Angler, yeah. So, we're fine here. They're just dead on board, though, so... It's not like they're going to concede, because we might just, like, not attack for some reason. Yeah, now they're really dead. I'm not even going to show the Maelstrom Pulse. Sure as hell not going to show that search for his Kanta. Yeah, and our opponent just concedes. We go straight to combat. Um, I like Maelstrom Pulse, Scavenging Ooze. Spell Bomb is pretty good here. Um, there's an argument for, like, grinding a bit, but 
Those blood gas can get aggressive very fast. Collective Brutality only hits a few of their threats and not that many. Um, so I don't like Collective Brutality. Um, again, so these are the cards I want to bring in. I don't think this is going to be the matchup where we want to grind with Search for Escanta. Um, I think we want to grind with straight up removal spells. Geist was good there, but I don't think it's always going to be good. I think they just had a really slow start. Generally, Geist can get stonewalled by, as we saw, Gurmag Angler and the like. Um, so I think we can cut, like, two Geist. Um, we could even cut one Fatal Push. So they, they play the Menace one, one creature, and that's it. So I'm going to cut a Fatal Push. Um, bring in Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, the extra scavenging ooze and two spell bombs to try to blow up their yard before they can uh, work up to something big. Um, but really, the best thing we're going to be able to do in this game is reach our top end and then like take over the late game. That's 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 what we're trying to do here. We're trying to not get steamrolled in the beginning. Um, yeah, this is a good hand. Yeah. So our opponent's keeping on seven this time. Good for them. Um, the thing with the Hollow One deck is that they could have really fast starts. They could go like Faithless Looting, uh, Street Wraith. Th that thought sees works too. <laughs> um, I'd say our, our hand is pretty good. I mean, you probably want to take Tarmogoyf. It's the threat. And the rest of our hand is just answers. Um, so in a hand like this, I'd probably take Tarmogoyf. Um, it all depends on what they have though. All right, they take the Tarmogoyf. Makes a lot of sense. Um, we are probably just going to lead on Inquisition here. Um, hopefully our opponent doesn't go like Street Wraith three times into Hollow One. Because that's going to be a pretty fast start for us that we can't necessarily beat. Especially without like a Path to Exile in hand. Uh, land is not what we wanted to see. Um, we'll just go ahead and start here. See what our opponent's working with. Burning Inquiry. So our opponent's hand is not great. Um, I, unless they draw something good, I don't think they can go um, Gurmag Angler next turn. If they draw a fetch, they can. They can go... So they have two draws to find something to do here. I imagine they'll find it. Their deck is... So yeah, they play like a fetch here, Gurmag Angler, to get under our spell bomb. That would be really good. All right, so far so good. Wow, I can't believe we dodged that one. Um, I'm gonna do it on their upkeep. If they wanna do like end step lightning bolt here, Whoops, that's a green. Yes, draw scavenging goose. That's also pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't get taken away here, though, by some sort of hand disruption spell. Okay. Um, do we play scavenging goose? We probably do, right? It's a threat. It's something on the board. Um, if our opponent wants to like burning inquiry us, at least we won't lose a potential threat. It could very easily die. Worst case scenario, it dies though. And now our opponent can't really safely like faithless looting, burning inquiry. Um, sure. Oh my god, we just had three lands on the top of our deck. All right, now we don't have... That, that's a creature in the yard, so we can, like, exile Gurmag Angler. Do we want to, necessarily? Uh, looks like they have priority, though, so they're going to just Gurmag Angler right away. So Gurmag... Three lands on the top of our deck. That's insane. That is... Absolutely shenanigans right there. 
abrupt decay. Yeah, abrupt decay is pretty bad here. Um, obviously, we can't attack into Gurmag Angler. If they start attacking us, then maybe we can attack. The chances of them having three Gurmag Anglers in hand, although it makes sense because if they're not doing anything else with those that that turn two, sure. So Gurmag Angler gets in there for five. We can't stop Gurmag Angler, unfortunately. Um, here I'll eat my Tarmogoyf. And now we'll go down. Let's get another black source, pro or a green source, green blue. Uh, or do we want to get black white, maybe? Let's just get black white. Oh, I want another green source. What was I thinking? Maelstrom Pulse is a great draw, though. Um, absolutely fantastic draw. Then we'll go ahead and eat it. Although, do they play Kolagon's Command? All right, well, looks like I answered that question for myself here. All right, our opponent's going down to nine. We have a 4-4 four -four in play, which is pretty good. Um, no green mana up right now, so our opponent does have a window here to do something. I imagine they might just be hard casting Hollowed One. No Hollowed One. We're dodging a lot right now. Spellbomb is... I mean, I'll take it. It's a redraw. Like, at worst, it's a redraw. At best, it exiles their entire graveyard. Here, let's... Um, use up our blue mana here. Hmm. I'm gonna just eat that out of the yard right now. I don't want to get caught off guard by like a uh, delve creature on their turn. So here they just gotta find a blocker of some sorts, or even a removal spell, right? That fetch was interesting because it took him down to lethal. I don't know if I would have done that if I was in my opponent's shoes, but again, not complaining. Maybe they were trying to get us with that delve, just like untap, play a land. Well, now they can do it anyways. Again, let's eat it. Um, remember, seven mana or six mana plus card in the yard is Gurmag Angler mana. And yep, so that that's probably what they were going for there, and we just kept cutting them off that play. Yep, they had, and then they show us the hand. That's Gurmag Angler. Let's just say GG. Looks like they left already, but yep. Remember, um, anytime you can play to some sort of up out from your opponent, even if you're so far ahead, um, just do it. Um, it's 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 gonna like if they just slam Gurmag Angler there, like what are we doing? We're drawing Verdant Catacombs, Lingering Souls. Like, yeah, we maybe would have gotten there, but the game should not be that close. So making those heads-up plays of exiling your opponent's yard um, like that to keep them off of a 7-mana Gurmag Angler is really, really important. All right, so thanks for watching that uh, second match here with Dark Bant, um, and stay tuned for the third and final match. I'll see you guys very, very soon.